Um, also have to let you know that we have a Twilight podcast, so thank you for Samuel Lee. Cool. Scott, big fan. The Strangers is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. So I love that you're back in this horror thriller world. And then for both of you, I love all this practical effects. So even though this is kind of a world of make fully even sci-fi, how do you make that truthful for yourself in order to make the audience also believe it? Oh. No, go for it. Oh, it's the writing. It's what Ian's script. Uh, he really laid a really good roadmap on where to take these characters in the story. So it's all up in there. What's the question again? Tell me, tell me something. Uh, how do you, the practical, the, the practical and like how you help it be truthful? Because even though you still have to make some stuff up, right? In your... you, you, you do, but that's sort of for me. I mean, that's always tricky. That's always super hard. But having the practical effects there were, was, was awesome. I mean, it's not always there. Sometimes you're just looking at this thing with like a green thing on it. And you're like trying to be terrified by nothing. So, but the practical effects on this was, I, did, I, I knew the scripts were great. And I knew Ian's writing was so specific. And I, I thought he was creating this amazing world. The one thing I didn't know how it was going to go was the genre elements or sort of the practical effects, all that sort of stuff was going to be CGI, not, or whatever. When we got there and we had to do some of the first big things that way, it was right there, you know, in our face. So you kind of just jump in and go for it, breathe down and go off for the best on that. I think what you're saying is the tennis ball is not scary, but this is? <laughs> not scary, but this thing, whatever is going on there is very scary. Yes. <laughs> um, and then my last thing is like, give me y'all's 30 second pitch. Like tell everyone why they should check out Teacup when it comes out. In the fall, I give a boring. Stop. I give a boring answer for this. <laughs> Honestly, I think people are going to get drawn into this show in the first couple of episodes, and I think by the end, when the five, six, seven, and eight come, yeah, the, the genre elements are there and they take off, and everybody's going to be very exciting about that. But I do think the one thing that people are really going to get be blown away by is how emotional the show gets and how attached to the characters people are going to get. You can feel it. I mean, we've both been doing this a long time, and you don't always feel in that. Um, but it was really there. And I'm saying this show goes into some very intense, dark, weird places. And I can just see an audience being really into that. Yeah. You can't get out of it. You got to give me one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, I think I, <laughs> it's, the, it's the emotionality of it all. I think, I think it's, a, it's, it's a sci-fi horror family drama. Love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sure.